Oh god damn it. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host. And I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 124,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all of my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And as you guys know, I have a Facebook account, so you can add me on Facebook, and we can be Facebook friends. So go do that. Link is in the description. And finally, be sure to turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button that way you get notified every time I upload a video thank you but what is going on guys before I get started I uh, I want to say sorry if I'm not you know my usual self um, I'm feeling pretty miserable today but on the plus side I want to give a couple of shout outs before we get started on the video and these shout outs go to uh, some people who donated while I've been doing live streams the last couple of nights, which I'm sure you guys know. And uh, these people donated. They were generous enough to donate. So I want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to Russell. Hey! John Kirk... Kirk... Kirk Collis. Kirk Collis. I hope I pronounced that right. Yay! Angel Rodriguez. Yay! Penny Davis. Yay! And last but not least, Celeste Lee. Yay! Thank you guys so much for your donations. Um, you didn't, you really didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But back to the video. Today, we are doing another episode of the SCP Creatures, which we started like a couple of days ago, and then I just stopped doing it. So today, we are talking about SCP-002, The Living Room. Literally, the living room. But enough of the jibber jabber, let's get right over to the story. Warning, you are entering a restricted area. Return to where you came from or be destroyed. Repeat, return to your designated zone or be destroyed. Message ends. SCP-002 Item number SCP-002 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-002 is to remain connected to a suitable power supply at all times to keep it in what appears to be a rechargeable mode. In case of electrical outage, the emergency barrier between the object and the facility is to be closed and the immediate area evacuated. Once facility power is re-established, alternating bursts of x-ray and ultraviolet light must strobe the area until SCP-002 is reaffixed to the power supply and returned to charging mode. Containment areas to be kept at negative air pressure at all times. Teams including a minimum of two members are required within 20 meters of SCP-002 or of its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm there is another person present, as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by the proximity to the object. No personnel below level 3 are permitted within SCP-002. This requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level 4 administrators. Command staff issued such a waiver must be escorted by at least five level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact and must temporarily surround their rank and security clearance. Following contact, Command staff will be escorted at least 5 kilometers from SCP-002 to undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation. If deemed fit for return to duty by psych staff, rank and security clearance may be restored when quarantine expires. Description: SCP-002 resembles a tumorous fleshy growth with a volume of roughly 60 meters cubed or 2,000 feet cubed. An iron valve hatch on one side leads to its interior, 
which appears to be a standard low-rent apartment of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window, though no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains furniture, which upon close examination appears to be sculpted bone, woven hair, and various other biological substances produced by the human body. All matter tested thus far show independent or fragment DNA sequences for each object in the room. Reference. To date, subject has been responsible for the disappearances of seven personnel. It has also, in its time at the facility, further furnished itself with two lamps, a throw rug, a television, a radio, a beanbag chair, three books in an unknown language, four children's toys, and a small spotted plant. Tests with a variety of lab animals, including higher primates, have failed to provoke a response from SCP-002. Cadavers as well fail to produce any effect. Whatever process the subject uses to convert organic matter into furnishings is apparently only facilitated by the introduction of living humans. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed SCP-002, The Living Room. It's pretty creepy, pretty intense. I don't know what I think of that. Um, I, I, I guess it's just pretty creepy that this room is called The Living Room. Like when you see the title, you read it as though it's like The Living Room. And you, you kind of think, what, what's so scary about that? It's when you're done reading it, you realize it's The Living Room. Like this room, somehow uses people's bodies nobody knows how it does it but somehow uses people living human beings to make furniture inside this little room pretty creepy stuff man but my question to all of you guys for question of the day is what do you think about this like how do you think this room what is the process of you know a human being going in there what happens to the human human being when they go in there like what happens what does the room do to them to like make furniture out of this person let me know what you guys think that is question of the day but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button down below it helps me grow my channel and uh let's see if we can go for a million likes why not but remember the most important thing of all guys chase your dreams i love you all don't let anybody bring you down and i will see you all back here tomorrow with another video peace out Thank you.